one of the things which people who've gotten to this point without sort of understanding where they're going suddenly want to say is, oh my goodness, do you, are you telling me that there is nothing but language, nothing but discourse? The, the only thing that exists is meaning. And this is a very common complaint. It sort of occurs, uh, for those of you who teach media studies, in about you know the middle of the second term. <laughs> it's my view. That's about the point where students suddenly sh shake their heads, wake up, and say, it's nonsense, you know? Uh, there are lots of things in the world apart from meaning and language. How do you trap me into this sort of language box, this language circle, you know? How do you get me into this circle anyway? Then let me try and make a very simple distinction about, you know, about two statements which sound as if they're exactly the same, which in my view are absolutely different. The first statement is, nothing meaningful exists outside of discourse. I think that, story, that statement is true. On the other hand, nothing exists outside of discourse, in my view, that statement is wrong. The statement, nothing exists outside of discourse, is a sort of claim that as it were, there is no material existence, no material world at all, no objects out there. And that is patently not the case. But to say that nothing meaningful exists outside of discourse is a way of summing up what I think I've been trying to say to you. As far as meaning is concerned, you need discourse, i.e. the frameworks of understanding and interpretation to make meaningful sense of it. And I'll, I'll try to give you an example. Round, spherical, rubber, or leather object is a ball. Is it a football? Well, you need a round, spherical object to play football. But it's only football in the context of a set of rules about what you can and can't do with a ball, which the ball didn't make up. You have to make up. So the ball only, which is a physical object, only becomes meaningful as a football within the context of the rules of the game. It's only when you play, develop a, a game or a language game about football, you can put it there, you can't put it there, you can't touch it, you can't kick it, etc. Within the rules, it becomes a football. So it's meaningful as a football, only in the context of the use and the meanings with which it is invested. The, the notion that meaning is important doesn't require us to deny that human beings have a physical existence, that objects have a physical existence, that we live in a material world which is governed by the laws of, uh, of the physical world and so on. It doesn't require any of that. We, the, the, the question of discourse is about how people give meaning to those things, how they become meaningful, not how whether they exist or not. And there has been, I think, in a lot of uh, cultural studies work, a kind of slippage around this question of uh, uh, if meaning is constitutive, does it mean that nothing exists except language? And you, you do hear a lot of objections to the position I'm putting by saying, oh, you've sort of absorbed the whole world into language. And that is not what I'm saying. What I'm, I am saying, though, that without language, meaning could not be exchanged in the world. That is the position that I would take. Without language, and I use language here in the broad sense, or I'm reminding you, different media using different sign systems, etc. But nevertheless, without language, no representation. Without language, no meaning. <laughs>